I feel like I'm a fish out of water sometimes. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's interesting because there are Republicans who kind of don't understand why I'm working for the Environmental Council. Um, there are Democrats who are like, oh, you have to go to the state house and talk to those awful Republicans. And I'm like, kind of am one. <laughs> um, so it's, but it's also kind of fun, like being able to break the stereotype of, of conservatives hate the environment because we don't, we actually like really do care about the environment. So we've had a lot of meetings since I've came on board with, um, you know, senators and representatives and especially, um, different organizations who I don't think before would have met with, with the OEC. Um, and so being able to have connections through um, just the Ohio Young Republicans, the National Republican um, Federation, it has really kind of helped to, to be able to use my network to be like, hey, I mean, you guys know me, like, you know what I stand for, so let's, let's meet and talk about the environment. They tend to push back against climate change um, I mean, President Trump, when he was running for president, called it a, a Chinese hoax. And so I think there's that kind of stereotype that goes around. Um, but I think people tend to forget that like, conservation started in the Republican Party. I mean, Teddy Roosevelt was the first one to create the national park system, like saw the importance of being able to keep our, our, our public lands and natural resources for people to use for generations to come. And so it's just been interesting that I think Republicans have kind of lost their voice in the environmental movement. And so, yeah, I'm trying to do my part to bring that voice back.